Hi, Soul Coach Lori here, and we're about to read between the headlines for a little woo-woo lesson on love. So last night, there was a lot of drama at the Oscars Awards, and all of it wasn't award-worthy. As I know you've already heard, comedian Chris Rock told a G.I. Jane joke and referred to Jada Pinkett Smith's bald head. And she's bald not by choice, but due to alopecia. Now her husband and now Oscar winning actor Will Smith took offense on behalf of his wife and proceeded to rush the stage. And as Chris Rock explained, Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. Well, Smith then proceeded to tell Rock to keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Well, this morning, Smith apologized saying, love will make you do crazy things. Yep, a lot of drama indeed. Well, I found it necessary to speak out to defend the unwitting scapegoat in all of this Hollywood drama, which is love. See, love is the one thing we all want the most and yet understand the least. So let's take a minute to get to know love a little bit. And please note that love does not make you do crazy things. Fear, embarrassment, anger, jealousy, insecurity, rejection, entitlement, unworthiness, and the like will have you acting out in some kind of way, but not love. And let's be real, saying love will make you do crazy things after punching or disrespecting someone is pretty much straight out of the domestic abuser's handbook. See, love simply doesn't work that way. Love doesn't judge, it doesn't bite or seek to harm. It doesn't demand to be respected because it already completely respects itself. Love seeks to understand, to forgive, and to enlighten, even when the shit is hitting the fan. Now, I know it sounds like I'm speaking of love as if it is an entity all on its own. And I am, because, well, it is. Love is the true essence of who we are, of who you are, of who I am, of every soul walking this earth. Love is divine energy within us. It is the energy that connects us soul to soul and therefore never rejects or harms another, just like source, just like God. In other words, God is love just as we all are. And blaming love for our bad behavior is like blaming God for the free will choices we make. Love is a convenient and easy scapegoat because to hurt, to disregard, to disrespect, and to disenfranchise in the name of love lets us off the hook because it allows us to believe the lie that we're doing the right thing for all of the right reasons. Be clear, we're not. Let this message from source guide you. Praying to me, placing blame on me, doing the unspeakable in my name is not my truth. Ye who follow must be aware. My truth is love, love of self, love of your brothers and sisters, love of the plants and animals that make your planet a home. Strike down one and you strike me down. Hate another and you hate me. Fear one who looks not like you, thinks not like you, speaks not like you, and you fear me. I am you. You are me. We are one and the same, one being, one love. Let us live as such. So says the light. Now, Will also said, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling me to be and do in this world. Will, with all due respect, what God wants for each of us is to know that you are love and you are loved and then act like you know it.